Hello, it's Creepy Bedtime Stories today, and I am going to be telling you some creepy bedtime stories. So, if you want to listen, you need to get yourself comfortable in your pyjamas, and get yourself comfortable. What's that? What, are, what is it, Bun Bun? Hello? Excited to listen to some creepy stories? Yes? Okay. She wants to get herself she wants to get herself comfortable. So I will put her right there so she is comfortable. Now let's start the story. Once upon a time there was a girl and a dad. They were in a shop. They were in a scary, spooky shop. One day, the girl spotted some cunning changing spoons. She's always wanted one of them. But then, she asked her dad, Daddy, can I please have these spoons? But her dad said, No, not at all. They're way too expensive. So then, the girl started whining. <laughs> so then her, his da- her dad said, Come on, darling, stop whining in these shops. Everyone's going to hear you and look at you. So then they walked around the shops again, carrying their crisps, chocolate bars, cookies and their biscuits to go to the till to pay. After they paid, darling... Why are you crying again? said her dad. She said, I want that spoon, Daddy. Now get me that spoon. (sniffs) His dad would get her daughter anything she wanted. So he said, fine, get it. Get it yourself. So she ran across the shops, trying to find the spoons. She couldn't find it. I wonder where they've gone. But then... She saw an empty box. A very empty box. But it had one thing in it. It had a letter. She picked up the letter. She read it. It said, Please do not touch me. I will kill you. I will turn you into a book. Or you will die, die, die. But she had already picked up the letter. She was very worried. She quickly put it back down. But then suddenly, her feet were changing into dust, black dust. And then it goes up, up, up to her body and then up to her head. And then, a few seconds later, she was just dust, just dust. And then, father couldn't see her, she couldn't hear her, or anything. But then, she was just a pile of dust. But then, over the dust, a hole started drilling in the floor. There's some dust there, and it's a hole drilling in the floor. She couldn't see anything that was drilling it. She was so scared. Even though she was dust, she could still feel her feelings. She didn't know what to do. All the dust quickly fell in the hole. As the drillings of the hole opened up. Suddenly, she could see pages, covers... And even the dust was turning into letters. Um, 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 oh, I don't know. Well, let's carry on. The dust was turning into letters. She was turning into dust. The dust was turning into letters. Then the letters lifted up. It fell into the pages. And the cover... Started turning into colours, started making pictures. <sighs> but then, but 
the letters. Flew into the book. Some letters drifted up, drifted upwards to the sky. And they all formed a sentence. It said, Please don't touch these letters. X ghost X ghost. What could that mean? So, the dust, the leftover dust, formed some more letters. Even the dust couldn't read them. It was saying something like, uh, blah, blah, goo, goo, ganna. I don't know. How would I supposed to know how that said? So, I don't even know how that was supposed to say. Anyway, what is it, ballerina? <gasps> are you scared? Well, I have to carry on, carry on for these children who are watching this video. Yes, I have to. So, then the little girl's father came, shouting, Where are you, darling? Where are you? But then, the hole started closing up with all the letters and the books and the pages and the dust inside. The father saw it close. He thought his child was in there. He started banging on the floor. Bang, 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 bang. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. So then the father saw a switch. He flicked it. Then the hole started opening up again. He looked inside. There wasn't the letters. There was no dust. There was no pages. There was no front covers. He thought, but then where's my daughter? So thought to himself, hmm, where can my daughter be? I need my daughter, otherwise her mum will be very cross with me. Suddenly, he heard a cry, a shout, and then a big, big shout. Ah, Daddy, help me, said the girl. He didn't know if it was her girl or that the, any anything it could have been a till keeper, his mum. Well, probably no. It sounds like a child. A unicorn, like me. Or I don't know. So he said, "Darling, come out, please." But then he saw a note, the exact same note that the girl picked up. He read it. It was different. It said. I will be coming alive, Father. Please, I'm coming alive. So then, the dust started forming to the legs, to shoes, into a body, and into a head. He realised that it was her daughter. He hugged her as tight as he could. <gasps> Stop me, don't! Tell me what to do again. I am not buying these again for you. And you should learn your lesson not to run or scream in the shops. Now, let's go home. Are you okay, darling? Yes, father. I'm okay. So they walked back home and had a delicious hot chocolate, some lunch some milk and they all lived happily ever after hope you enjoyed this story ballerina what is it now oh thank you yes hope you enjoyed my bedtime stories spooky bedtime stories bye